All right, let's have another go. Good afternoon. Have I got it right this time? Let's just refresh my laptop screen here and see if I'm up the right way. Since me and technology <laughs> this weekend, this weekend, this last couple of days, holy moly. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I, this afternoon, I had, I was gonna do a little um, scrapbook page using stencils, but I've kind of feeling a little art journaly. Hello, Linda. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to straighten this baby up here. All right, so I'm feeling a little art journaly here today and I thought I'd have a bit of a go to whip a little something up um, as part from as part of the, the Great Australian, Great International Craft Show online. Uh, number 14, I have, every day I'm doing, giving you lots of um, tutorials and information and creating up a storm. So I thought this afternoon I'd do an art journal page using some stencils, using some of my collage papers and um, just having a little bit of a paint. So today uh, being the Friday, the still the 15th of July. Um, number eight though, number eight. Number eight, what do you mean number eight? Oh, this is my eighth live Facebook in two days. There you go. Um, so I will be doing, um, yeah, we've got as part of the special, I should, should be saying, um, all in create stamps, stencils and dies are all discounted to 15% off. We also have online alcohol inks, 15% off today and all stencils are 15% off today. Um, are you handy, Lou? Do you want to show me those new items that just came in? I'll give you a... We've had a delivery. A delivery today. Um, love a delivery on a Friday as much as we love a glass of wine on a Friday. More wine than anything else on a Friday, but that's okay. Um, and we just had a delivery of some items that are not on special, okay? But let me show you what came in. The brand new... Back to Nature from Art by Marlene. We have got it in store now. Now, we've received half of our delivery. We still have the paints, they are on the way. So these are super cute. This is called A Lot of Birds. This one is called Flower Stack. This one is called Wildflowers. And this one is called A Bug's Life. Uh, so they are gorgeous. Can't wait to use those. If you have pre-ordered them, we have got them put aside for you already. The Arty Vellum Pad is also in as well. These are a little bit nice. And then we have got the Arty Paper Pad here, which is your pattern paper. The Paper Elements, which are your die cuts. They are all here too. Some great new little images in there. We also have a die available and a whole ton of stencils. Now, like I mentioned, this is not available in the sale um, because it is brand spanking new, okay? So if you have pre-ordered it, we will be getting in touch with you shortly. Uh, and we're still waiting for the rest of delivery. This is the first box. I'm assuming the rest will come. I don't know. I'm assuming the rest will come. So here we go. Hey, that's cute. So this one, this one's called Flower Wheel. Sorry, Floral Wheel. This one is called Flower Madness. Uh, mixed petals, which would be amazing on a gel plate. And Hibiscus Love. So they are all available and you will find those online at nataliemay.com.au and you will find those under the category of new for July. All right, let's do this. Let's get it done. I am going to do an art journal page and I want to use my new... Um, <laughs> I love it when cars drive past really slow and they can see me here filming. They must wonder what the heck is she doing. Anyway, I'm going to use my new collage papers, guys. I want to use some of these girls. So we have got Florence. We've got Olive. We've got Betty. 
we've got Clarice, then we've got Strength in Numbers, uh, we've got Molly. Uh, this one yesterday was Miriam, we used her yesterday, and plus I also have some grayscale and some black and white images as well. Um, I'm going to be creating in my craft journal, my Dina Wakely craft journal. And I had a bit of an idea of just, I traced a circle from a container and with my trusty Alpha knife and a, uh, a mat, I have just cut that out. So I thought that I would do a little peekaboo page. What do you reckon? So I thought I would use one of my girls and pop them behind here so that they are looking through the window. Let's have a look and see which one I'll use. Um, so not at all, oh, she looks good behind there. Not at all a original idea, but something that's pretty awesome to do. I'm gonna use this one. So I'm not gonna cut that yet, but I'll show you in a moment how we're gonna do that. But before I do anything, I want to start with a little bit of uh, gesso behind here because that is where my collage paper face is going to go. So I just want to do nothing more than that just to keep it nice. Just so it's because I've got a craft journal, I want to... Just make that bit there a little bit white underneath so she stands out. Okay, so how do I stick her on here? How do I make that magic happen? I am going to, I'm not gonna cut that out because that's just gonna take too long. It's way too much fussy cutting. So I do have a thin paintbrush and some water and I am going to tear that. So just doing that enables me to tear the paper. It softens all those fibers so that I can tear and not, and, or, and have a, um, a nice loose edge that I can incorporate into my page. A bit more water. Makes it, makes it very easy to pull the image away from the collage paper. Um, I highly recommend doing it in a couple of inch strips like this, rather, otherwise your paper's just gonna dry. And then you will just get the perfect, perfect tear so that we can incorporate it into our page. like that because I just have zero interest in fussy cutting out this little image. I think I've got better things to do with my day and you guys don't need to see me try and cut that out. And then across the bottom, I'm gonna tear as well to soften that line. And then I'm gonna stick her down and I'm going to paint around her. Radio. Perfect. She's going to go right there. How do we stick her on? Of course, we use gel medium. Now that I need to find it on my desk. Um, all right. So gel medium is our adhesive of choice. And the cool thing about gel medium is, is it dries clear. It allows us to stick down and I'm going to use a palette knife instead of a paintbrush. Um, it allows us to stick it down and smooth it out and I'm going to cover it in gel medium as well. So I'm lining it up in the right spot and that looks pretty good to me. I could probably take it just a fraction lower. Yeah, that works. And what I'm going to do instead, I'm not going to pick it up. I'm going to lift it. Put the gel medium down onto my page like so and then with a little bit of gel medium over the top 
just to seal it. Now, by using a palette knife to do this, it kind of it gives a really good coat and it doesn't go on too thick. And that's important because you don't have time and I don't have the patience to watch this dry for the next hour, okay? I've got things to do on a Friday afternoon like I'm sure you guys do as well. So there's no reason why you can't cut holes in your art journals. There are some amazing people creating uh, at the moment um, on around on Instagram and Facebook doing all sorts of amazing cutouts in their journals and they just look so clever. So, hey, let's jump on that bandwagon and let's give it a go. Now, if I, like I said, if I was to use a paintbrush to do this, it would go on really, really wet. And I don't want that to happen. I want it to be a really nice coat. And then what I'm doing with my fingers is I'm just polishing off any excess and smoothing it out. Now, this is a little tip that I learned in a class with Tim Holtz. He does that with all of his gel medium products as well. And what happens is it pushes out any air bubbles, speeds up the drying and incorporates it into your page better and you make sure that it's all stuck down. Love that. Hello, Tina. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Dee. Sorry, I've just looked up at my screen because I've just decided I'm going to smash this out this afternoon. All right, I'm just gonna quickly dry that off and then I'm going to get a little paint on there. So the page that I did yesterday, of course, is this one. And you can go and have a look on YouTube under Natalie May Scrapbook Ideas, or you can scroll back down through the Facebook page and you will find that project. All right, dry enough for me. Now the rest of the, let's get those girls out of the way. The rest of the pages, I think I just wanna add some stenciling and some paint. Why does that keep going crooked? Uh, so I'm gonna keep it super simple and look at that, voila, done. So let's incorporate this page in first of all. Um, just off camera here, I have got my paint palette. I have got, so this is a tear off palette. It is a Montmartre brand. They are quite inexpensive. Um, they keep your work surface tidy and you can throw it in the bin when you're done. Um, what I do want to do is I want to add a little bit of gesso to my paint palette. So, because I don't have any white paint handy, I'm going to pull out the colors that are in this. So in here we have some colors that I wouldn't normally use, but I'm going to give it a whirl. Uh, we've got cheddar. Ooh. Um, I'm going to grab some yellow. That's a lot of yellow. Let's really commit to that. Um, I might, I don't know. I'm going to pull in, no, not blushing. I want rouge, which is one of the new colours. Um, Sedona. I like Sedona. Sedona kind of reminds me of tomato sauce. I like that colour. And then the latest colour that she bought out was syrup. I wonder where that is. Olive. Do I want a little syrup? All right, I've put it somewhere safe. Okay, now I just want to, I just want to paint some of this on and I want to incorporate it into it. So I'm going to start with the white. And then I'm just going to get in here and get a bit of a blendy blendy going on because I want to keep that white. Because we've got white in our collage paper, we have got areas here that I don't really want to cover up too much, but I want to make them fit in. So I'm going to start on my edges. Pushing it out with my finger. 
and I will also be adding um, some stenciling over the top like I said but I've got to build a bit of a base first for this to to work on so I'm using an art by Marlene paintbrush this is uh, the I think they call it the filbert brush and I really quite like this one it's nice I'm using a dry brush it's not wet there's no water on this brush and by using this dry brushing technique it will allow me to um, keep it nice and dry and I don't have to ooh, look at that color and it won't take long to to dry so I'm just laying down a little bit of a foundation before I add some stenciling Oh, I like that. Okay, so cheddar and rouge work together quite nicely. It's an interesting combination. Brush strokes, don't like those. But I'll be able to stencil over the top, so that's okay. Oh, okay, Sedona was a great choice. So I'm just laying down a base, guys. That's all I am doing. Bit of white in there as well. And I don't want to take forever to do this. I want to be super rough because I've got two other pages to do. Okay. So I'm just getting the paint on. I like this Sedona, I like this deep red, and she's a this is a beautiful colour combination actually. I'm I'm I've surprised myself. A little bit of white, let's tone it back a bit. Oh that's nice. It's nice, it's unusual. You can tell it's Friday, can't you? Um there we go, a bit of that bit of that and again I knew all of these colors were going to work together because they are all alongside each other on the color wheel okay I'm not going to throw green in here or a purple or anything like that because it ain't going to work sorry if I've got a bit of shadow with that lighting okay a little bit of white for blending a little finger smudge I'm not using a ton of paint either and that's really important um, the amount of paint that you put on is is you know plays a big big part in how it blends okay so um, if you if you're a bit unsure go with less is best the um, the strokes that I'm using as well are also important I'm I'm keeping my strokes vertical I'm wanting to keep that uniform didn't need to do that did I so let's blend it in um, wanting to keep that uniform so popping that on like that and hey it's looking okay excellent so I'm going to now pop some over on this side as well so I've just got my bit of paper there and I need to bring in a bit of that white still, so I'll just pop a little bit around the page and then crack on and get some color on. Because these pages are gonna be alongside each other, we need them to be consistent and tell a little bit of a story. So um, having, having a little bit of um, this same color going all the way across, and it won't matter if the other, other page, this page here is a different color, because they're not alongside each other. But in this particular story that I'm telling, it's gonna work great. I'm gonna go for a bigger paintbrush because it'll be quicker. Oh, a bit of bonus fluff. Keeping some of that white in there to mix it around a bit. 
give me a new shade, a new tone. Hello, Linda. Hello, Kim. How's everybody's afternoon going? Mine is going good. You guys are keeping us busy and that is what we like. Louise has had no time to sit down and look at shoes and handbags on the internet. I can say that because she can't hear me. Okay, so you can see what's happening here. We are blending the colours. I'm keeping those strokes vertical. It's all coming together quite nicely. Seem to be running out of paint though. this dry brushing technique of moving the colors all together kind of looks good it doesn't take as long to dry either which is a bonus because when we're art journaling we really want to be doing something that's not going to take forever so that is why I love this technique There we go. I've got this bit here that is driving me nuts where I first put the paint down and I really didn't think about how it was gonna dry. So I'm just gonna cover that through. And knowing when to stop is important. I can work on that for hours and hours, but I'm not going to, because we don't have hours and hours. So let's add some stenciling over the top now. So the color that's gonna work well, this um, similar colors I'll stencil with, um, and I loved that Sedona, that really nice red that I've put in a safe place. Here we go. Um, stencils, 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 stencils. So I've got some Stencil Girl stencils here that I thought I might pull out and use. This one's called Wildflowers. Um, I like this one here. Can't remember what it's called. Let's have a look. No, Toledo, Toledo. I'm gonna to use Toledo just to add a little bit of shading around the place. So I'm gonna grab, hello Marilyn, welcome, welcome. Just popping some more paint on here. So I might start with, I wanna use colors that are sitting underneath. So if I've got yellow underneath, I'll you know put a similar color over the top building up these layers. So I might start here with some rouge and just pop a little on the top. Now, before I do anything, I'm gonna lift it and see how it looks. Oh, I don't love that. So I'm gonna grab a baby wipe and I'm just going to dab some off and blend it back. Okay, so my lesson here is a little less on my sponge. Okay, that's better. I'm not gonna do the whole page. I'm just going to add a few of these little elements around the place. Little pops of interest. But stenciling can make or break a page so when you're building up a background. So now I'm just going in with some Sedona. And I'm, I'm using a nine by 12 stencil. So what's happening with my nine by 12 stencil is it's covering my whole page so that my stenciling is kind of gonna be consistent and, and layer well around my page, okay? So using the um, little sponge, Oh, so Linda's just commented and said the Sedona gloss spray is awesome. Um, I actually hummed and hard about the gloss sprays. 
uh, and using those today. But if anybody watched my last video where I used them, it was the funniest, funniest fail video ever because it just wasn't happening for me that day and I didn't have the patience to unblock them before I used them and paid for that dearly. Um, I got off live Facebook and said to Louise, that's it, that's the last time I do that. Um, and I haven't actually used them since, but I do need to pull them out and have a go. Okay, there we go. So I'm just using, I've got some cheddar on here. And she has now, my camera's got a wobble. She has, she's now kind of blended in. So then if I repeat the same thing on the other side, Oh, bugger. There we go. So stencils, you can get Stencil Girl stencils um, at 15% off at the moment. Um, that is a, a great price for you to take advantage of. Um, as some of you may or may not know, the American dollar is kicking our butt at the moment. Uh, and we are doing our best to, um, to price our products accordingly um and and keep and stay in business of course but the um yeah the american dollar is absolutely kicking our butt so um we are doing the best that we can to look after you our customer little bit of down here I like it and I don't really want to do much more than that I want to add some um, some journaling and I'm going to do some journaling for this page as well um, but I'm going to do some opposite colors in here to make this pop okay looking good righty oh so on this side Going to put my bit of scrap paper in there i want to use same but different colors so this time i want to go with some a couple of shades like cool tones this time so i have got some turquoise and i'm going to use sage and i'm going to put my water in put my brush and water uh sage and what else have i got here no no i want peacock there we go right clean paintbrush so if you're wanting to use, I'll use a dirty paintbrush. If you're wanting to use a paintbrush in different colours, what I would recommend, because I want to keep that dry brushing technique, and that's really important, I give my paintbrush a good rinse, and then I grab my paper towel and squeeze all of the liquid out of it, okay? Because I still want to do that dry brushing technique. I don't want to water my paints down at all. Okay, I really don't want to do that. So, so I can get this colour on really nicely. Oh yeah, look at that. So instead of using white to tone back, I am using this gorgeous sage. Taking it up to the middle there. I could have got some washi tape to mask that off, but I didn't think of that until now. So I'm just making sure that I don't get any blue on the other side. 
by pushing my ink, my paint up that way. And I reckon I just did. Pop some sage over the top. I could have used mineral. Mineral might have been nice. That's a lot of paint. So Linda's just commented saying that she's uh, almost bought me out of the replacement sprays, uh, re replacement play sprayers. So uh, the Tim Holtz, repla I can't even say it, replacement sprayers, nozzles that fit their distress oxides and the um, distress, like the sprays and the stains, they also fit the Dina Wakeley gloss sprays. The Dilutions replacement sprayers also fit the gloss sprays so if you find if you have some gloss sprays and you think mm, they're all blocked up you number one you're not alone it happens to all of us uh, and the you yeah you can just use a put a new sprayer in it and the cool thing about it is if you rinse them out with water you can Oh, bugger. Hang on a minute, guys. Oh, all right. So this is drying off nicely. I keep losing the internet. What's going on? Okay. Now I'm alive. Okay. Sorry, guys. Not quite sure what happened there. We dipped into a black hole. Um, now I'm just going to dry this off and then I'm going to stencil over the top. All right, how does that sound? Sounds like a plan. Hey, Lou, would you grab me a piece of scrap paper, please? Another bit of green paper. A piece of what? Green paper out of the scrap paper oh, yeah, yeah. pile. A score, sheet green. a score sheet green, preferably is my shade. Okay, winning, winning, right in there, that goes on the floor. And I'm going to use this time, I'm going to use this stencil with marine and do all of this stencil. Okay, so I'm going to grab my sponge, grabbing a new Ranger sponge. Now, it would be smart at this point for me to tape this down to my page because I have a tendency to mess this bit up. So the trick is tape it down. So it's not going to move. Use a bit of washi tape, use a bit of sticky tape. Just make it happen because it is so much easier taking the time to do this than to try and line it up every time you accidentally move it. All right, so I have got marine Dina Wakeley paint on my sponge and I'm saturating my sponge here. I've put way too much on. So I'm taking it off like that. I'm going to start at the top and I'm just going to dab it. Now, at this point, I can wonder, oh, did I choose the right colour? That is the question. Yes, of course I did. Nailed it. So this is one of my most used Stencil Girl stencils. Um, as a designer for them, um, I quite often do tutorials for Stencil Girl and you'll find this one gets used a lot. And it's in stock at the moment. Well, it was before I started filming. Anything is possible in between now and then. So I'm just going around doing this bit.
dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. My sponge is a brand new one. It's a little thirsty for paint. So this little trick of cutting a window out in your page can be done in any art journal. It can be done in the Large Dilutions journal. It can be done in the small Dina Wakely craft journal. Um, you can do it so many different different ways. You can cut out all sorts of windows. You could be fancy like Tracy Scott and she just nails it. She's, she's a boss at cutting things out, I can tell you. She does the most beautiful lace pages. Or if you can't be bothered cutting out a lace page at all, you can actually purchase um, a paper artsy lace book that you can tape into your journal. So uh, quite a few people have bought over the years. We have them online, um, the paper artsy Tracy Scott lace books. They are so cool. And then people are like, oh, what do you do with them though? Well, just take them into your journals, make it a page. Ta -da. Right. Done. So now I'm going to take my sponge with a little bit of just mixed it with some of that other color there and I'm just going to add a little shadow just blend it in a little bit to the page a little dusting of a little polishing of paint on the edges okay voila All right, so I've got a little bit of a painty overflow here. Just gonna fix that up. And now I'm gonna pop my paint aside and grab a black pen and do a little doodling. Do a little bit of scribbling, a little bit of writing. Um, I'm going to come up with a phrase that I wanna write, which I don't really know. Uh, I'm just going to put this here aside because like I did yesterday, I'm going to transfer it into one of my other journals as to not waste that paint um, and make the most of that. But before I do anything else, we should better dry this off so that I don't inadvertently make a hot mess of it. Oh, she looks good. white pen where are you where are you where are you this happened yesterday didn't it okay maybe I'm not storing them correctly maybe I need to do that how did I lose the other one? Oh, here it is Okay, that one works. Okay, now what am I going to put on here? This is actually the first page in my journal. So I'm going to grab a black pen and do a bit of a frame first and foremost. Now, if you're interested in doing a online class with me, you will find a range of classes available online and they are all Facebook classes so they are available for you to watch back at any time and majority of our classes we send you out a little kit so that you can create along with me. The really cool thing about doing a online Facebook class with art journaling is that you can pause, you can catch up, you can mute me, you can rewind you can, um, you've got the option to go back and watch it a, again. So 
make sure that you have a bit of a look under the classes tab on nataliemay.com.au to have a look at what art journal classes are available. There's also a class there if you would like to learn about art journaling. Um, I have done a, a couple of classes teaching you art journal basics and all about uh, what you need, what you don't, how to, um, what, what to, what sort of journal you need to purchase, um, what you don't need to purchase, all of those sorts of things. Where to get your inspiration from, all of your different ideas. I can help you with that. Um, we also have an online class coming up doing a gorgeous little tag and that class uh, is happening on a Tuesday night in a couple of weeks time and there's a fantastic kit that we post out using Dusty Attic chipboard. Um, you do need to get a few things from your collection but it's a good fun technique class. And there's a bit of a, a sneak peek preview on Facebook as well and on uh, the website. I also have a great range of kits um, available as well. If you are not into art journaling, but you want to do some scrapbooking, then I do kits with written instructions and great photos as well. So you will find a a nice range of kits in the Kits by Natalie May section on the website. All right, what else can I add to this page? What do you think? Oh, I know. I'm gonna add a little stamping. I'm going to, I've just found my Buds of May stamp and I'm going to use this one here and push across the bottom of my page. That is an excellent idea. Acrylic block. Okay, so it's not sticking to my acrylic block and that is because it is well used. So I'm just popping a little water underneath, giving it a good push down, and there we go. So this is one of my uh, stamps that I have hand drawn. Oh yeah, that's perfect. All right, now I need to go into this bit, which is no nowhere near as um, easy to stamp on. So I'm just putting my stamp cover underneath to build it up a little higher. And I know that I can, if I don't stamp it properly, it's not a technical image, so I can go back in and outline it in black pen and make it work. Don't quite know why I did that. Don't put your hand underneath it. Okay. Voila. So some of these didn't stamp great down here, um, but circles and lines, circles and lines. Not difficult to do. And it's consistent, it's across the page. Except for this one, which I'm just gonna make it up. And nobody will ever know, except for you guys that are watching, but that's okay. Um, I can now take my white pen and 
do a few little highlight bits here and there if I wanted to. Um, I could get a paint pen. Paint pens are fantastic for colouring in these sorts of images. I might do that uh, off screen. I don't think you need to watch me do that. I've got a, a pale pink paint pen. Will that work? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's just adding a nice little amount of colour to my little berries. You know what? I'm going to do it here. I'm going to commit to it because I've started it. And that's easy to do. So tomorrow is Saturday and tomorrow we're going to be having a brand new special online at nataliemay.com.au. So tomorrow all in create stents, uh, products will be back to their normal price as will stencils. They will all be back to their normal price as will alcohol egg so you do need to take advantage of the specials today um, while you can so tomorrow's specials will be different and I'm not going to tell you what they are you can wait and see um, the new art by Marlene products that I have shown you earlier that just walked through the door they are not on special, okay? So we have, um, I know some of them have nearly sold out. We have only had a third of the delivery. We have more coming in and it will be restocked very, very shortly, as will the All and Create products. One of the stencils that I used in my live this afternoon that has sold out already and we've taken it offline. Um, but you will be happy to know that it will be coming back in store very, very soon and you will be able to grab it then and order it from us then. If you would like to secure a particular product that you've seen me use and we have sold out, just send us an email. Our email address, if you've got a pen, write this baby down, nat, N-A-T-M-A-Y, at adam.com.au. We take pre-orders by email only um, because they get lost on Facebook uh, and we don't always see all the messages. So make sure that you send us an email, natmay at adam.com.au and we will, oh, that looks so good. And we will uh, make sure that we can pop something aside for you and you're guaranteed to get it when it comes in. I'm going to bring that up to camera just to show you how cool that looks. Loving it. I'm really loving this page. On the front here, I might do something else. Like, seriously, Natalie. I might do the other stab. What did I do with it? What did I do? Oh, they're under here. So the Natalie May scrapbooking stamps that you see here, um, you won't find those on special at all this weekend. They are available um, on products by Natalie May and the stamps and stencils um, are always full price. Very rarely do you see me put them on, on special. Uh, but they are awesome. They are easy to use. They are red rubber and... You do need to cut them yourselves and there's actually a tutorial on the Natalie May Scrapbooking Facebook page where you can see how to colour. Cut. Cut. <laughs> Cut. Okay, so I'm going to stamp that on there and then I'm going to colour those little petals in. And I'm only going to do one here. I'm only going to put one on. And I'm going to colour the petals in, I wonder if this one's going to get lost. Let's give it a shake. I think it is going to get lost. So let's try this one here. I think that might be a bit light. Seriously, I've got all of the colours except for the one. It's not bad. Kind of disappears a bit. And that's too light. Alright. I need to find a happy medium. 
I think I'll just go back with this one. And tap it off with my finger. So these are the Life of Colour Pens. They are an Australian company. Great pens, great set, excellent price point. Um, you'll find those under pens. And, and we do have some in the show specials as well with a fine tip, if you are looking for a fine tip pen. Um, I can't show you my set at the moment because I have put it in a safe place. You know that safe place? I've got one of those too. So um, that's okay. But they are a fine tip and we have those as a show special. Rightio. That works for me. Let's get some words on now. What are we going to say? What are we going to say? Mind you, you can't really see that coming up, but there it is. There it is there. I might work on that with a white pen a bit more, okay? I'm not totally convinced that's awesome. Um... How about I stop thinking about this and just get it done? Because I've got a, a grey pen here. I might just do a little... Do I want grey? Do I want black? I've used that black one to within an inch of its life. going to do what's called some um, semantic writing so I'm going to uh, is, that, is that what Dana made yeah I'm going to just scribble around my circle You don't need to see what it says, but it is a, you know, create every day to feed your soul, to, to make yourself happy. Okay. Pretty much that sums it up. And on this side, I think I might just leave it like that. I might put, um, I could put one of these on here, or I might just write something down here. Um. I'm just going to write this one down here. This one says, art happy with that guys I will add some little white pen marks down into here uh, just to make those little flowers stand out and there we go so in 45 minutes we have created an art journal page uh, so let's quickly have a bit, a bit of a look here yeah I don't know I'm not I'm not sold on on that that this is the color this is the way to go so I'm going to revisit this little corner all right let's bring it up to camera so what we have done for those of you just tuning in 
is we have used a couple of pages out of my craft Dina Wakely journal and I've cut a circle using my Alpha craft knife and uh, just by tracing a circle. So on this front page here, we used a combination uh, of Dina Wakely paints in sage, turquoise and peacock. And then when we stenciled over the top using the Stencil Girl stencil, we used marine to get that to stand out. We used the Buds of May stamp down the bottom here, which I am just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna commit to it and say that's what it is. I've done some scribbling around here. Then on our opening page, we used collage uh, gel medium to stick down our girl um, from my new collage sheets and we then used Dina Wakeley's yellow, cheddar, Sedona and rouge with the stencil girl Toledo stencil that looks like that um, and we put, popped that into the background I then used my Buds of May stamp across the bottom and coloured that with a, coloured the little um, balls with the Life of Colour pen. Uh, before writing, scribbling at the top, something perhaps that we all need to remember every now and again. So thank you so very much to everybody for tuning in. Um, jump online nataliemay.com.au uh, to, here we go, uh, nataliemay.com.au. You will find everything that I have used there. What I'm going to do is take a photograph of this project, uh, add it onto my Facebook page in the next post, and then I will link the products that we have used so you'll be able to jump in and purchase those today. There you go. Um, you can join our Facebook group, Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community. You'll be able to watch this back on you, um, YouTube and follow me on Instagram. There you go. So thank you very much, guys. Um, I really enjoyed doing that. That's a really lo lovely, fun page. And if you want to catch the page that we did yesterday, make sure that you scroll back down or you have a look on YouTube and you'll find this one as well. Have a wonderful evening. I'm off to have a glass of wine and I look forward to chatting you all soon. I will see you at 9am tomorrow morning for another live Facebook and then three more fun live mini classes tomorrow. Have a great evening. Thank you.